She followed in her mother's footsteps and she broke some barriers along the way. Now it's the end of an era for a legendary leader. She is the star of tonight's hometown feature and Mike Max is here to introduce us to this incredible woman. Yeah, longevity. Miss Jean Sergey is an icon. She has worked at the school she attended, Ascension Catholic Middle School, for more than four decades. It is located in North Minneapolis, where she grew up. She was a pioneer basketball referee, a coach, and so much more to the school and the neighborhood she calls home. Inside these hallways in this building has lived a legend, and her tenure is coming to an end. So are you guys going back to the Patriot Club? Miss Jean is a fixture to kids here. Yeah, I'll miss them. I'll miss them. I'll miss the people that I work with, too. Mm, it's been a great ride, huh? It has been a very good ride. It started with her mother who taught and coached and raised nine children, and who Jean took over for when she moved on. I learned a lot from her. She was just, I always thought she was ahead of her time. She was very patient with me uh, when I would do her classes. She would say, no, that's not how you do it. You do it this way. And out of that, she became a coach and loved it. Watching the kids just actually, they're coachable. You tell them what to do and they do it. And I love the parents' eyes when they see their kids just you know, moving on. And then there was her other love that started with her mom. So this is your gym, but it's also the first gym you played at, the first gym refereed at? Yeah, uh, this is where I would, uh, on Saturday mornings with my mom and Laverne Meyer, um, one would ref with me and she would just send her kids in and they would critique me and I'm thinking, okay. She developed a passion for refereeing and was the first woman to referee a boys high school game in Minnesota. It was a three man crew, but it wasn't really a three man crew. One person sat out and I refed. And every quarter, every half, the guys would switch and I thought third quarter, I get to sit down now. The guy goes, no, this is your day. You're refing this game. And I went, okay. But it was at Ascension where she ascended to assistant principal. That was her home away from home. These hallways, what comes to mind when you walk through them? I don't know, peaceful, quiet, and it's not in the morning. But, but it still is your peaceful, quiet. Yes. This is where you have peace, right? Yep. It is located on the north side of Minneapolis, where she grew up, near Broadway Avenue, a place that has changed. I mean, you could walk Broadway and stop in stores, get a Coke, get popcorn. It's, it was different. It makes me sad that we can't go outside with my kids or when I taught Fayed, I was everywhere. I took our kids everywhere. You can't do that anymore. She gave her heart to the neighborhood, to the city, to the school. 43 years on the staff. Much of that has not set in yet. It will come in time. But what she knows is this was her calling. And what she understands is this uh, has been a wonderful video. ride. What does this school mean to you? It means a lot. I'm going to retire, but it means a lot. I'm very lucky. L lucky that they wanted to keep me. Oh, I think they were lucky. Her last day will officially be June 30th of a celebration for in early June as well for all that she impacted and the entire neighborhood there on the north side of Minneapolis. I, and people will turn out. Mm, yeah, in a big way, in droves. Yeah. Well done, Mike. Thank you.